Welcome to the Dean Show, which is a way of life which we try to put out there for everyone to see, helping you understand Islam and Muslims. And we're going to teach you something real quick. Islam means to surrender, to submit to who? To the Creator of the heavens and the earth. You see, I already learned something. And a Muslim is one who does this action, who submits to the will of the Creator. Real simple. And this is what we're about, trying to educate people on this beautiful way of life. And we have one of those individuals here, a Muslim, and we brought him on the show, Alex Lopez. Wa alaykum How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, which means all praise and thanks is to God, Allah. All right, so tell us a little about yourself. Well, my name is Alex Lopez, and I'm originally here from Chicago. My, my family is from El Salvador, Central America. And nowadays I find myself doing da'wah work, which means spreading the truth of Islam to the non-Muslims, or at least educating them and teaching them about it. Good, alhamdulillah. Thank you for your efforts. May Allah God reward you for that. So, tell us, we want to know about why you chose Islam. But before that, before you were a practicing Christian. Christian, okay. Yeah. And what did that entail? What, what did you believe before? Well, when I was a practicing Christian, uh, about six years or so, I used to participate in the church and youth groups and go to Bible study uh, once a week. And that entailed uh, the belief in Trinity. What is that? What is, what is the belief in the Trinity? What did that entail? Uh, the belief in Trinity is to believe in God being the Father, the Son being Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost or the Holy is Spirit. Is that three gods? Uh, according to the Christian teachings, it's three gods. Three gods in one. Three in one. It's yes. not three, actually, it's one, but you're splitting up God like a pie. Yes. God, okay, which Islam, what did, what, which Islam says God is only one. So we, we'll get to that. But yeah. So now you were, you were believing this. I was believing this, yes. Okay, so you're a Christian. But now, I was believing in it simply because my mom and dad taught me it. Tell us about they, this. My mother and father are originally Catholic. My mother became Christian, and she used to take us to Christian church. What's the difference so, now, Catholic, Christian? The difference, uh, in my opinion, between Catholicism and Christianity is in Catholicism, you believe in the saints and the Pope and the Virgin Mary and so forth. There's a hierarchy. In Christianity, you just simply believe in the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. I'm confused already, but anyway, let's go forward. Uh, to me, when you say one, it's much simpler, huh? Yes. Okay, and when you don't try to now philosophize on this and try to... One is one, explicitly. Yes. Okay, so this is what Islam teaches, but we'll get back to that. All right, brother. Listen, so now you were going through this, so you were going to, to Sunday church? I was going to church, you, uh, you do youth group, and youth study group, Bible. You were yes. buddies, uh, st the, studying the Bible? Yes. In, okay, intensively? Uh, at that point, no. Okay. I started intensively studying the Christian uh, doctrine uh, when I started learning more about Islam. It began to raise questions about the actual doctrine of Christianity uh, when it pertains to the Trinity. Uh, the Bible is, in a nutshell, confusing. As when I was a Christian believer, uh, when I started reading it, it just it, it became confusing. But if it was confusing, why did you keep moving forward? Because I never really studied the Bible until that point. Okay, but you were just going along with something because you were born into it? Or, exactly. Or just what your you follow what you're taught. You follow what you're taught. Yeah. So at what point now did you start to question what you were taught? When I started learning about Islam when I was in school. When you were in school. Tell us about this. Talk about this. Well, I'm a, uh, I took a course called World Religions. And in this course, you have to do an in-depth study and research papers on every religion. And one of the religions was Islam. When I began to study Islam, it raised questions on my belief as a Christian on what I believed in, in Christianity, being the Trinity, which did not make no sense when I started learning about Islam because Islam teaches to believe in one creator and to have a di direct link with that creator, to pray to that creator, to worship that creator and nothing else. There's no middle person or middle, middle man. 
That's beautiful. That's quite simple. Now I'm, I can understand. Because <laughs> my mind sometimes, when you try to, you know, try to help make something fit that doesn't fit, and now you got to justify it somehow, it can be a little confusing, no? Yes, it could be. Yeah, so when people come, you think this is one of the main reasons why so many people are coming to Islam because it's so simple to understand? One of the many reasons. One of the many reasons. One of the many reasons. Because when you tell somebody, La ilaha illallah, which means there's nothing worthy of worship except Except God, the Creator. Except yeah. the Creator. This is yeah. simple, yeah. right? Very simple. Yeah, so I mean, that's easy to grasp onto something that's simple rather than confusing. Mm -hmm. and usually when man puts his hands in something, he can mess it up sometimes. Especially if the Divine, the Creator, has already set something up and now you want to come change it. Yep. Yeah, you understand? Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's move on now. So you had to disattach yourself from this trinity. Was that difficult? Uh, it was very difficult being that my family were Christian, still. And when I was learning about Islam and I would bring these questions to them, they were unable to answer and they would simply just say, you know, don't do that, you're going to get brainwashed and so forth. Uh, when I would go to those Christian scholars, they would basically say the same thing. They were not able to give me uh, hardcore proof in my belief system as a Christian. And that's what basically made it more weaker because I believed in something that you cannot even prove. You believe it? Okay. And now you went on this trying to go to the higher ups. You didn't get your answers. Exactly. What goes on from there? Well, you simply just take the role on yourself to study the Bible in itself. And when you do that, you learn that all the prophets that came in the Bible, the biblical prophets, they came and preached the same message to worship one creator. It is not until the New Testament where you hear this trinity or a three in one idea. Uh, Jesus. So when you hear, because Trinity is not even mentioned in the Bible. The word Trinity is the not word in the Trinity Bible. is not mentioned in the Bible at all. So when you say now you hear about this Trinity, what do you mean? You hear the idea of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, where in the Christian Church they teach you that's the Trinity. Yeah. Okay. But the word Trinity is actually nowhere. It's, in the no, Bible. it's nowhere found in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. So, how about this crucifixion? The crucifixion, according to the uh, Christian doctrine, uh, has to occur for the Son to resurrect and be the Son, to believe in the Trinity. But in Islam, uh, there is no need for crucifixion because we're born pure. This is what Islam teaches. Yeah. That we're not born into sin. We're not born into sin. There will be no need for baptism, a baby born, sinless baby, to be baptized. A baby's brand new. Yeah, you don't what sin did this baby do? Exactly, yeah. So there's no need for the crucifixion uh, or the baptism. So that wasn't hard to disattach yourself from now? Well, I, was, I never really got was baptized. Uh, no? I was never baptized, no. So could someone say, well, he wasn't a Christian? Then? I, get, I got that after I became Muslim. Yeah? Yes. Well, do you have to be baptized to be a Christian? Uh, depending on the church you go to. Okay. So there's you, different sects in Christianity that you have uh, people that make dogmas within the churches and you're either Christian or you're not Christian depending on the, the teachings of the church. Okay. So, so you disattach yourself from the Trinity to pure monotheism. Exactly. That God is absolutely one that you can not, not split him up. This starts making exactly. sense, you, yeah. uh, sense and you start leaning toward this. The idea of the crucifixion, that someone died for your sins you were already disassociated from? You didn't believe this any? Did you firmly believe this before? I, it was hard I, to separate I from I this? firmly believe that Jesus uh, came to die, for, God sent Jesus uh, to die for our sins because that's what I was taught. Uh, at the time it made sense. But when you study and you learn the religion, Christianity or Islam, uh, it does not make sense for someone else to take over my responsibility for my sins, for the things that I do. I have to account for them somehow. And Islam being that you believe in one creator, that creator is the, old, the sole creator to judge you. No one else or anything else for that matter. All right, that's quite simple. We're going to cut out real quick to summarize what we just talked about. Islam means to submit your will to the will of the creator of the heavens and earth, no one else. And a Muslim is who do, one who does this action. And we're meeting one today, a former Christian, Alex Lopez. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back on the Dean Show.